You know, it used to be the old saying that if it ain't bolted down, they'll nick it. That don't really matter anymore, does it? Because they'll still nick it. Hi, it's me again. And yeah, it's a really big problem, this one. Catalytic converter theft. It seems to be quite prevalent at the moment, doesn't it? And I was surprised to see that the main type of car is getting robbed from on this article in the Express. Have a look. Police warning as criminals targeting one type of car on driveways. So what do you think would be the brand of car that would have the most stolen catalytic converters in Merseyside, according to this story? I was genuinely, genuinely surprised. But the brazenness of the thefts as well, like it says here. I mean, I've heard stories about it in Clacton, because I go to Clacton quite a lot, it's where my mum lives, I don't live there. But um, yeah, it's quite prevalent there. And I was at a car dealership when I was looking for a new car a little while ago after my Astra popped its head gasket and exploded in a McDonald's car park. I was looking for a car and there was a forecourt on a corner in Clacton and um, they had signs in the windows of the petrol cars saying either this catalytic converter is protected by a cage thing or has been extra welded or it's got an aftermarket one which is worth nothing to you and all of this. And some of the cars, they actually took the cat off when they're parking the car on the forecourts overnight and they'll put the cat back on when they sell the car or need a test drive or something. That's how bad it is. That's pretty bad, isn't it? So anyway, what make of car do you think it was? Leave your comments below. Have a guess. Let's find out. Police are warning drivers amid reports of brazen criminals seemingly targeting a specific model of car on driveways in broad daylight. Merseyside Constabulary said recent thefts have been overnight and from private driveways, but usually thieves work in broad daylight and appear as if they are doing repair work on a car in high-vis jackets to hide in plain sight. Bloody brazenness of it. Brazenness of it. But that said, if you saw someone working under a car in a high-vis with a van parked next to it on the street, would you stop and say, are you nicking that cat? Or would you just walk past? Yeah, I'd probably just walk past. None of my business, is it? Uh, most of the vehicles targeted were Honda Jazz cars, but any hybrid could be a target, police say. Honda Jazz? I, just, I wouldn't have... I wouldn't have guessed that. I would not have guessed that at all. Can't be a very big cat on a Honda Jazz. But do hybrid cars have a bigger, more impressive, expensive catalytic converter? And what are they do? Do they actually sell them as cats? Well, I know they've got quite precious metals in them, haven't they? There's some very expensive metals inside a cat. Do they sell them to be broken down, or do they sell them as a cat, like on eBay or something? It's. I don't know. I honestly don't know. And who is buying them? Like, you can't, can you just go to a scrapyard with a cat and say, give us some money for that because of all the rhodium and silver or whatever's inside it? Why aren't the cats being like really heavily indented, stamped with registration numbers or something like that? Well, you probably could grind it out, I guess. You probably could grind it out, couldn't you? But yeah, I would be absolutely bloody fuming if I started my car in the morning and someone had had my cat off there. Because that's not a cheap thing to replace. It's hundreds, hundreds to replace a cat. Isn't it? It's lucky I drive a diesel at the minute. No one's nicking the DPFs off knackered old Range Rover diesels, are they? Yeah, it's not a pleasant theft, that one, is it? You're really inconveniencing some good, hard-working people at a time when they need their cars and they need all the money they can get in their pockets. Well, that's theft all over, really, isn't it? So what's Merseyside Police got to say about reducing the risks? Let's see if there's any brilliant ideas in there or if it's just nonsense common sense, let's have a look. Cat locks can be purchased to secure the catalytic converter to your vehicle. I saw a thing on this, Donut Media here on YouTube did a thing on that. They got a few of these cat locks and tested them out. And um, very little, very little seemed to prevent it. Very little. But what I think the one that won, I'd have to check on this, they just got a load of like metal bars and welded them up to it and made like their own cage over it. That seemed to be the winner, but... You know, if you're going to the effort of cutting the cat off with a grinder underneath a car in broad daylight, cutting a bit of extra metal ain't going to stop it, is it? If you have CCTV or a doorbell camera, consider reversing in your car in a driveway so the back of your car is covered by the CCTV camera. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Catch the theft on CCTV and then report it to the police. Because the police love solving crimes like that. The, the solving rate for crimes like that are through... Oh, no. That's wrong, isn't it? When was the last time you ever heard of a copper solving a crime like that in the last 10 years? Never. They can't be asked with it. It'll give you a crime reference number and you'll phone your insurance company. That's it. Waste of time. If you see people acting suspiciously around vehicles at any time, you can report them on 101 or 999. 
I live in Essex. That's all people do is act suspiciously around vehicles. Blimey. 101 would be constantly engaged if everyone in Essex did that, wouldn't it? I don't think... Uh, they've got to solve more crime. That's the only way you're going to stop it. It's the only way you're going to stop it, isn't it? I don't know. It's a terrible crime. Terrible crime. And I'd hate to hear that it's happened to any of you out there but if it has do let me know in the comments below and let me know what a second hand cat is worth and um i'll tell you what if they were selling them on ebay and you bought your own cat back you'd be pissed off as well wouldn't you to replace your one that had been stolen it'd be, i'd be proper pissed off <laughs> let me know what you think about it down in the comments and as always thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already because that way hopefully i'll see you in another video again soon when i ta -da.